interesting developments over in League 2. Of course, as Wrexham blow their game in hand to fall outside the automatic spots. Can they make amends this weekend? We're going to take a little look. And next... <laughs> Number 35, that's right, over in League 2. And we'll get to that in a second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button. You want to stop shop for League 2 is right here at Blackburn Bloody Rovers Seas. We've also got World Football, Rovers Football, all here under one Ruski, of course, this weekend. We'll see the, the, the 35th match of the calendar of the season for, of course, League 2 with the likes of Mansfield, Stockport and Crew uh, in the automatic spots right here, right now. But that could all change this weekend with the likes of MK Dons and, of course, Hollywood FC trying to get themselves back into the top three. Who will take advantage? We'll get into that in a second. Of course, big, big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. Again, if you're new, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. A whopping 75% of you are not subscribed. And guess what, guys? We're looking for the likes. Can we? Can we get 30? Over 30 likes. It's a big shout for League 2. 30 likes. You guys can do it. It costs you absolutely nothing. And it does do wonders for the channel. does wonders for the engagement. does wonders for the competition as well as the old Prediction League. And talk about Prediction League. We'll get into that in just a second. A bit of a sour note there. But anyway, let's recap the results for the last games and then we'll of course kick on forward to the next round of matches starting with these though uh stanley uh, they lost to crawley big win for crawley uh, up to ninth for the table one new win for them uh, of course barrow uh, bradford will do that another day uh for whatever reason was postponed doncaster Picked up a one winner win over Wimbledon. I went with a 2 1 win, not too shabby. The Jills also picked up a one winner win, win, win over Wrexham, of course. We had a bit of a bad week this past week. Uh, I went with a 1 1 draw. Meanwhile, Morecambe uh, did a draw with Grimsby. I went with a 2 1 win for Morecambe. The Vegans picked up a one winner win over Tramia. Suddenly, out of all or nothing there, I, of course, found a bit of life, have the Vegans. A 1 0 win for them. Harrogate, of course, lost to Walsall. 2 0 win there. Mansfield, uh, pick up a 5 1 win over Salford. I won with a 3 2 win. MK Don's also winning 3 0 win over Newport County. I won with a 2 0. Knox County did lose to Crew. Big win for them uh, as they boosted their automatic shots uh, promotion. Chat. They actually could go top of the league this week. Stockport County again drew with Swin. Bit of a rough patch for the season. And Sutton United and Colchester duked it out to a 1 1 draw. Of course, that's, of course, Marpin. Uh, this is the table as it stands, as you see. It is Stockport County uh, who are actually in second spot right now. Mansfield top the charts on goal difference. Crew are in third spot right now with Wrexham, MK Dons, Barrow and Walsall. Would you Adam and Eve? They've come out of nowhere into the top seven. Going down, it's the Beagans. It's Sutton. But guess what? It's very, very tight down there with the likes of Grimsby, Colchester United probably in that discussion as well. I think Doncaster might be just about safe and the teams above them as well. So that's, of course, the situation over there. Of course, now let's talk about the... the uh, in the room it is the prediction league of course i was not quick enough to get the, the forms up there so it's pretty much these are the results from last week's uh you know the what the previous week so we're not with nothing's changed you guys whoever was in it last week i do apologize it was my bad it's a lot lot going on for me at home uh, with my pup at the moment so um i, I just completely forgot about it and again the, the, the leaderboard is exactly the same so uh no change uh, but everyone is feeling the same pinch there so even if we quit right now it would be James we FC running away with the title, but we're not going to quit. We're going to be back back in it, and there's still a good handful of games left, including the playoffs. So there's still points to be had later on. Anyway, so that's enough about that. Let's get, of course, into the next round of games, which do kick off this coming Saturday. Saturday, the second of March. That's right. And what a game we start off with. It's the Wimbledon Derby. It's, of course, Wimbledon against MK Fakes. That's right. Coming at you over at Plough Lane. They have played each other 14 times since 2012. Two wins for Wimbledon, nine for MK Dons, three draws, of course, another biggest win for Wimbledon. It was a 2 0 win. Scored 15 goals in this 14 match. 1.07 goals game. MK Donzo 3 1 win the biggest score. 26 goals in 14 matches. 1.86 goals game. They're on 58% format. MK Dons right now. Uh, just one defeat in the last five. Fifth in the table. 58 points on the board. Up against Wimbledon. Uh, without a win in four. Just one win in six. And 13th in the table with 47 points on the board as well. Last around the over at Plough Lane. It was a 1 1 draw. That was way back in April 2022. The reverse fixture. A 3 1 win over at the Stadium MK. Back in January was a 3 1 win for MK Dons. Who are unbeaten against Wimbledon over the last six matches. The odds here 29 to 20 is your hosts. 12 to 5, of course, is the draw. 9 to 5 is your way wins. MK Don's going to go with the 1 1 draw here. A lot riding on this one for both sides. Uh, and of course, a lot of pride on the line as well for Wimbledon. Meanwhile, Bradford City up against Notts County. Bradford uh, still got an outside sniff, maybe, for breaking into that top seven. But they, of course, take Notts County, who are on a bit of a bit of a downward slump since they lost their manager and they got Stuart Maynard in there. Of course, they're pushing the 15 times, 2004, six wins apiece and three draws. The biggest win for Bradford was the 3 0 win. Scoring 22 goals in those 15 matches, 1.2. 
1.47 goals a game heading into this one. Notts County, though, 5 0 win the biggest score, 27 goals in 15 matches, 1.80 goals a game for Notts County. Just one win in six right now for Notts County, five defeats in the last six matches. They're 14th, 47 points in the world. How bad has that season fallen off? Meanwhile, Bradford on the flip side, how well has their season uh, transpired since, of course, the appointment of Graham Alexander? However, coming into this on the back of a defeat, 75% form for them right now. They're 16th with 46 points on the board as well. Last time around, over at Valley Parade, it was a 1 0 win for Bradford. That was back in December 2014. Uh, however, early in the campaign, big 4 2 win was for Notts County way back in November. The odds for this one 2019 on is your Bradford, 13 5 the draw, 13 5 is your away win, which of course is Notts County. I'm back in uh, Bradford here with a big win, 3 1 win for them. To move closer to that top seven, can they do it? And the last time of asking me, well, a bit of a top versus bottom sort of clash. It's second from top versus second from bottom or, or, or there or thereabouts. It's Colchester versus Stockport over at Colchester. They have played each other 12 times since 2003. Seven wins for Colchester, three for Stockport, and two draws uh, for the teams so right now. Of course, Colchester 2 0 win the biggest, scoring 18 goals in 12 matches, 1.50 goals game. Stockport, though, 2 0 win the biggest, scoring 13 goals in 12 matches, 1.08 goals game. Stockport, though, without a win in the last four, of course, just one win in 60. Our second with 63 points on the board against the Colchester United side. 50% form for them right now. One more loss one and drawn four uh, in the last six matches. In fact, just one defeat in the last six for Colchester. 21st, 32 points on the board. They are doing a bit of a grind right now at Colchester. Uh, uh, however, last time they've played in Colchester back in March 2023, it was a 1 0 win for Stockport. Stockport, the reverse fixture, this campaign in Stockport was a 2-0 win for Stockport as well. They have actually won three in the bouts against Colchester without conceding a goal. The odds for this one, 3-1 to one is your Colchester, 13-5 is the draw, 65-1 is your Stockport County. 2-0 win for me for Stockport, again, back to winning ways. Colchester keeping uh, uh, in a bit of trouble down the foot end of the table. Crawley against Barrow, of course, Crawley on the up. Uh, Barrow on the slump as well, played each other 13 times, 2008. We've got six wins for Crawley, five for Barrow, two draws, of course. Now the biggest win for Crawley was a 4 near win, scoring 21 goals in 13 matches 1.62 goals a game heading into this one Barrow though 4-0 win the biggest scoring 21 goals also in those 13 matches 1.62 heading into this one Barrow though just 1 win in 6 for them at the moment they are 25% form they are 6 on the table 53 points on the board against the Crawley side 58% form for them right now 3 wins on the bounce ninth in the table 49 points on the board as well last time around though over in Crawley it was a 1-0 win for Crawley back in November 2022 reverse fixture was a 1-0 win for Barrow way back in November uh, earlier in the season uh, the home side has won 4 on the spin here whether it's been Barrow or Crawley uh, and only the wayside picking up one win at the last six matches. The odds for this one, 31 to 20, is your Crawley. 13 to 8 is your Barrow. 12 to 5, of course, the draw. Going to go with a 1-1 draw here. Barrow been on a bit of a slump. Uh, of course, Crawley uh, would we'll, we'll, uh, take another point and put it in the bag and move on. Meanwhile, a bit of a Northwest Crunch clash. It is Crew. It is Morecambe over at Gresty Road. They have played each other 16 times 2009. we got nine wins for Crew, four for Morecambe. Three draws, of course. Another biggest win for Crew was a 6 deal win. Scored 31 goals in 60 matches, 1.94 goals a game. Morecambe though 3-1 win the biggest scoring 18 goals in 60 matches 1.13 goals a game Morecambe under Gerard Brannan just one defeat in the last six 67% for them right now they are 11th with 48 points on the board against the crew side also on 67% for them right now however unbeaten in the last five third in the table 61 points on the board as well last time around though over at crew it was a 3-1 win for Morecambe back in September 2021 that was in League One uh, and they have also yet to play each other earlier uh, so they've got uh, I've got a bit of a make amends match later on sometime over in Morecambe according to my data here. Anyway, 2017 on is your crew, 11-4. The draw, 14-5 is your Morecambe here. We're going to go with a 2 new win for crew. Uh, Morecambe uh, just a little bit off uh, at the moment, uh, I feel. Meanwhile, Walsall against Doncaster Rovers. Walsall flying high. This is over at the Bescott, over at uh, taking on Doncaster Rovers. They've played each other 19 times since 2004. 11 wins for Walsall, 6 for Doncaster and 2 draws at the moment. Now, Walsall, 3 nil win the biggest score, 34 goals. In 19 matches, 1.79 goals a game. Doncaster, though, 4 1 win the biggest score, 27 goals in 19 matches, 1.42 goals a game. Doncaster, with that, uh, they're actually unbeaten in the last six right now. Grant McCann has them cooking right now, 67% form for them at the moment. They are 20th with 39 points on the board against the Walsall side, four wins on the bounce, 75% form for them over the last six. They are seventh, 51 points on the board as well. Last time around, though, over at Walsall at the best Scott was a, a 2 1 win for Walsall back in May 2023, just like the previous game. They've yet to play the reverse fixture, so this will be the first encounter all season. Uh, even Stevens as you've also 5 to 2 is the draw 13 to 5 as your weight win going to go with a 2 on win for Doncaster against the grain here as uh, of course Grant McCann uh, denies Walsall potentially a top 7 berth for this weekend's action anyway kicking off for Grimsby a uh, bit of trouble aren't they down the foot against the V it's a bit of a zing zong of this one 
It is 22nd against 23rd in the table. Grimsby, uh, Forest Green, played each other 22 times to 2010. We've got 10 wins for Grimsby, 7 wins for Forest Green, 5 draws, of course. Now, Grimsby, 3 0 in the biggest score, 31 goals in uh, those 22 matches, 1.41 goals a game. The Vegans, 3 0 in the biggest score, 28 goals in 22 matches, 1.27 goals a game, of course. Forest Green, 50% form for them right now, 1 2, lost to and drawn to over the last six. They are 23rd in the table, 27 points on the board against the Grimsby side, who haven't won in the last seven matches, 22nd in the table, 30 points on the board as well. Last time around, though, at Grimsby, it was a 2-1 win for Forest Green, who are unbeaten against Grimsby over the last six, picking up four wins and two draws, including a draw last time around uh, in Forest Green back in November this campaign. The odds for this one, we're looking at uh, Grimsby 2019 over the victory, 5-2, to two, the draw, 14-5 to five is your vegans, of course. Going to go with a 1-1 one, one draw once again. Quite tight on the road for me on this one. Into the next one with Newport County uh, against Mansfield, of course, Newport County. Uh, a bit of a rough uh, couple of games uh, in recent time here. I guess the Mansfield Townside, who are top of the table. They have played each other 30 times since 2010. Eight wins for Newport County, four for Mansfield, and eight draws, of course. Now, the biggest win for the Welshies was a 5-3 win, scoring 35 goals in 30 matches, 1.17 goals a game. Mansfield, though, 5 nil win the biggest got 53 goals in 30 matches 1.77 goals a game heading into this one just one defeat the last 5-4 Mansfield they are 67% form for them for them at the moment they are top with 63 points on the board I guess the Newport County side down to 10th right now 49 points on the board two defeats in the last six also cooking quite well right now last time around though over at Newport County was a 2-1 win for Mansfield back in April 2023 the reverse fixture in Mansfield this campaign back in November 2-0 win for Mansfield of course who are unbeaten against Newport County over the last six three wins and three draws all those games taking place in league to the odds for this one, though, we are looking at Newport County 10 to 3 for the victory, 5 to 4 on Asia Mansfield, and 5 to 2 the draw, 2 1 win. Mansfield remain top of the table, of course, heading into a next weekend's action. Salford against Gillingham, of course, Salford under Carl Robinson. Uh, a bit of a couple of bumpy games recently. Uh, the poison chalice, isn't it? Salford City uh, against Gillingham right now. Three times they've played each other. This is 22 2 1 win for Salford, 2 for Gillingham, 0 draws, of course, the biggest win. The only win for Salford was a 3 0 win, scoring four goals in total of the course of those three games, 1.33. Goals game on average. And Jills, though, 3-1 win the biggest. Score. Four goals also. 1.33 goals game as well. 58% form for Gillingham right now. Eight for the table. 51 points on the board against the Salford side. 58% form for them as well. 19 for the table. 40 points on the board as well. Last time around, though, over in Salford, it was a 1-0 win for Gillingham back in May 2023. The reverse fixture in Gillingham this campaign was a 1-0 win. That's actually a 3-1 win for Gillingham as well, who won back-to-back -back against Salford. The odds for this one, 29-20 is your Salford. 12-5 the draw. 9-5 is your way win. That's the Jills. I'm backing Salford here. Might have had a couple of bump, bumps in the road, but I do think uh, Carl Robinson will get a tune out of this team probably next season, though. We'll see. Swindon Town against Haddigate Town, of course, coming at you over in Swindon. Now, they have played each other uh, five times in 2021. We've got two wins for Swindon, one for Harrogate, and uh, two draws, of course. Another biggest win for Swindon was a 3 0 win, scoring nine goals in five matches, 1.80 goals a game. Harrogate, though, 3 0 win, the biggest scored six goals in five matches, 1.20 goals a game. Harrogate, of course, form has dropped off a little bit, 33% form for them right now, without a win in four, 12th in the table, 48 points on the board. I guess the Swindon Town side just one defeat in the last five. They are 17th with 43 points as well. Four 42% for them heading into this one. Last time around, over at Swindon was a 3 0 win for Swindon back in February 2023. The reverse fixture in Harrogate this campaign back in November was a 1 1 draw. The odds for this one 2017 on is your Swindon. 13 to 5 is the draw. 3 to 1 is your long shots. That's Harrogate here. Going to go with a Swindon victory. Harrogate slumping slowly but surely out of the playoff contention. Meanwhile, Tramir against Sutton, of course, towards the foot end of the table. Of course, Tramir uh, also uh, going for, through a rotten bit of form uh, against Sutton United side. Played each other nine times, 2016, three wins apiece and three draws, of course. Tramir, 2 0 win the biggest, scoring 17, uh, 12 goals in nine matches, 1.33 goals a game. Sutton, 1 0 win the biggest, 10 goals scored in those nine matches, 1.11 goals a game heading into this one. 33% form for Swindon right now, uh, sorry, for Sutton right now. Back to back games without a loss, 24 for the table, 26 points on the board against the Tramir side, uh, 18 for the table. 40 points on the board, just one win in six, though. Last time around, though, over at Tramier, it was a 2 2 draw back in January 2023. The reverse fixture this campaign in Sutton, also a draw. Three of the last four have ended all square. Uh, meanwhile, the, the the odds for this one 2019 on is your Tramier, 12 5 is the draw, 14 5 is your way win. That's Sutton United. Going to go with 2 0 with a Tramier. Sutton look toast, don't they? And then wrap it up, wrap it up. It's Wrexham, it's Accrington, it's over at the race course ground in wheels. Now they have played each other five times since 2006, one with a Wrexham, four for Accrington, zero. 
zero draws so far. Wexham, Wexham, uh, two 0 win the biggest, scored four goals in those five games, 0 0.80 goals a game. Accrington, five 0 win the biggest, scored thirteen goals in five matches, two point six zero goals a game. Stanley, thirty three percent form for them right now, just one minute six. They are fifteenth with forty six points on the board against the Wrexham side. Fifty percent form for them right now, one two lost to and drawn to over the last six. However, winless in three, they are fourth with sixty points on the board right now. Last time around though, over in Wrexham, I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What was last time around over in Wrexham? Of course, according to my data, it was a three one win for Stanley. Of course, the reverse fixture this campaign in Accrington was a 2 0 win as well. So Stanley back to back wins over Wrexham, but the odds here 15 8 on as your Wrexham, 10 to 3 is the draw, 92 is your way win. It's going to be a 3 1 win for Wrexham. They're going to take the spores and maintain their automatic dreams, of course. That's my take on it, guys. Make sure you get your own take in it using the link in the old description. Of course, this is what the table will look like if I am spot on the nose. It'll be massive. It'll be stock. It'll be crew, Wrexham, MK Don's Barrow, and then Walsall going down Sutton and Forest Green. That's my take on it, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And make sure you get the likes in 30 likes. Course, for the video that's the challenge it's down to you i can't do anything about it it's all down to you make sure you subscribe make sure you like and of course we'll see you soon for the next one